Now, some say Rome wasn't built in a day. I say prove it, because last week we here at IGN pulled off the impossible and made a champion out of the unlikeliest of gamers. This is Cheese Gets Good, presented by Cheese It. All right, now last week, Cheese It's very own Cheese somehow managed to beat Ron Funches in a nail-biting race of Forza Horizon 5. Cheese wins! Congratulations, <laughs> Cheese! Thanks, Akeem. And I did it all by myself. I definitely didn't have the help of any outside gamer like Jack Ultramotive playing for me in a hidden corner of the IGN studio. That'd be crazy. So, uh, what are we doing back here today? Jesus here for the dubs. Part de. Get it? It's French. No. This time, I'm prepared to dunk on none other than Keith Aberthberger in NBA 2K23. He can try, guy, but he'll fail. And when I beat him, everyone at home will get a chance to win all sorts of fabulous prizes, including a custom Xbox Series X, which I've affectionately dubbed the Xbox Series Cheese. I know, I know, I know. Now, so how do people watching at home win? Uh, 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 not so fast. There's one thing we need to do before I reveal how everyone at home can sign up for the aforementioned giveaway. What's that? How do I get good at NBA 2K23? All right, calm down, you're scaring me. Oh, okay, here to help is NBA 2K League champion, Bear the Beast. What's up with you, Akeem? Not much, Bear. Do you have any tips for cheese that don't involve you playing for him? Pretty please? Cheese, now you know I got you. Here's some tips to help you and everyone at home win. When you pick the players for the match, you are shown their overall attribute level. But going by this number alone may leave you at a disadvantage, as this number doesn't account for a player's height. Are you listening, Cheese? Oh! Tall players, like me, have an easier time catching rebounds, intercepting passes, and defending from other players, while shorter players, like you, can be more agile and generally a bit better at shooting. Try changing your team composition if you're struggling with a certain aspect of the game and match your opponent's height and attribute levels to yours if you want to even out the playing field. There's so many options. What should I do? Size matters. Taller players are normally stronger and shorter players are faster. Got it. What else you got? When the opposing team has possession of the ball, the fastest way to switch control between your players is to press X or A. Pressing R1, RB followed by another button is a decent way to manage a larger team, but it adds an unnecessary step in two. So when you're playing 2v2, don't do that. With the one button method, you can now play a more active role when defending, as you can multitask and take control of both of your players in order to keep the opposing team at bay. One button? <laughs> Sounds like my kind of game. These tips should help you out to beat Keith in the 2v2. Thanks, coach. Promise to do my best and remember your pointers. Oh, one more question. What's up? Talk to me. Do you know how to dial into someone's gaming PC remotely and play for them without anyone knowing? Because I have no idea what I'm doing and I just need, I want to keep winning. Depends on how much you're trying to pay. That's all the time we have for Cheese Gets Good, but make sure to check out Cheese Sports Champion of Cheese later this week to see if Cheese can best keep Habsburger in NBA 2K23 on his own. All right, and don't forget to sign up for the giveaway at cheesewins.ign.com or in the description down below. If Cheese wins, you'll have a chance to win the grand prize, a custom Xbox Series Cheese. Now keep it locked right here on IGN, and we'll see you in the next episode.